Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Now today I'm super, super excited to share with you the Stamp of the Month Club Kit from Friend Stampers Journey and Spellbinders. This is the April kit for 2019 and it's called Fresh Start. It's a 10 piece floral image stamp set and has some beautiful sentiments in here. You have Enjoy Today, uh, Plant Dreams and Grow a Happy Life, and Each Day is a Fresh Start super pretty what I like too is the storage sheet that it comes with it's a super durable plastic sheet that your rubber stamps will cling to beautifully and while I separate my stamps here and place them on their storage sheet we'll talk a little bit more about the stamp of the month club kit it's $20 a month and if you're in the United States that includes the shipping so I think that's a great value now if you're outside the United States I'll leave a link down below in case you want to check it out I'm just not sure how much the shipping would be but um, each month I will be doing a project with the stamp of the month club kit which is lovely now um, it'll always be red rubber stamps which are high quality if you're unfamiliar with red rubber um, they're deeply etched, which means you get a finer line and more detail with the red rubber stamps. So great quality. And you get your little storage option, which is super fun. And they all fit on there beautifully. I like my storage options. So there they are. Now it does come with a plastic sheet if you want to cover the back with it. But I found the plastic sheet doesn't stick. If you wanted to tape the top part, you could to um, help protect them but I think it's nice for stacking in your little storage bins. Okay, so that's our stamp of the month. Let's jump in. Did I tell you the name of it? It's called Fresh Start. Super pretty. Okay, we're gonna make a, a kind of an elegant card and I wanted to use some watercolors today. So I'm stamping on some Canson XL watercolor cardstock. I'm inking up the two largest floral images with VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And we're just going to stamp one image and then we'll clean it off and then um, grab that second kind of coordinates the second flower does with the first flower the nice thing about this is the leaves are separate you have one single leaf and then you have a little leaf cluster so i'll grab the little leaf cluster and we'll stamp that as well um if you want to do masking and create a um a better image you could do that but for today's card I thought where the overlapping is not happening I can use um, that placement for my sentiment so once my images are stamped I use my VersaFine ink because we're going to go over our stamped images with clear embossing powder I like to go over um, my images when I watercolor because it helps contain my watercolor and makes less of a mess <laughs> So you can't go wrong when you heat emboss. I'm just going to use my heat gun and we'll melt that embossing powder. And then once that's melted, we are going to do some watercoloring. Now today I have some brand new watercolor pencils I get to try out. Now these are from Fun Stamper's Journey and they are called the Journey Color Splash Watercolor Pencils. It's a 48 piece set. Um, I do have a watercolor pencil set, but it's a very small set. And so I wanted to try out a little bit better of a variety. But all of you basically do is color on your image and then you can use your water brush to spread that color out. Um, if you don't have a water brush, you could use just a regular paint brush and some water to do this. Um, in between each of my colors, I'm gonna use my heat gun to dry my watercolor. And then this way I want a really rich color and so this will help richen that color. But as I color, I will play a little bit of music for you, and when I'm done coloring, I will get you back.
Okay, coloring is all done, and I think purples are so pretty. Um, next, I'm going to cut out a frame using, these are Spellbinders APG dies called Ven, uh, from the Venice Lace Collection, but it cuts out just a frame, and then this second piece here will cut out a polka dot detail around your frame, which is super pretty. So once that's die cut, I'm going to use my tool in one, and I'm going to poke out all those little holes there. And I think this is a great way to add a little bit of detail. But you just rub your brush over those holes and they come out. Okay, next, I want to use an embossing folder, and I but I wanted the same color as my um, my panel here. So this is watercolor cardstock here. I'm just trimming it down to four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. So it's a complete um, size of a card front. I'm going to use an embossing folder that I have had in my stash, and I'll list it down below. But it is super gorgeous. It's um, got some beautiful floral swirls on there but very elegant. I just ran that through my Platinum 6 machine and embossed my panel here. I'll go ahead and tape this card front to my card base, which is again the same size, four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And I already stamped my sentiment with VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I stamped um, Enjoy Today. For a little dimension, I'm gonna pop up my panel with some foam tape. I had a little bit overhanging here, so I'm just going to use my scissors and trim that off. And we're going to place this in the center of our card base. I love ivory and purple together. I think it's gorgeous. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some foam tape behind my sentiment. And I wanted to add something, something it's a little bit more texture to my card. So I'm going to bring in some wire. This is a real thin gauge wire. Now I, the tag fell off of it, so I'm not sure the gauge that it is, but it's beading wire and it's the finest one that they had. So, but it's gold and I thought it'd be pretty to just do a little bit of a swirly behind my little sentiment. So it's very subtle, but it doesn't take away from my pretty flowers that we just painted. Okay, for the center of my flowers, I want to add some Nouveau Glitter Drops. These are honey gold. And I'm just going to dot each one of those um, flower centers and tie in some of that gold um, wire. And then last but not least, I have some iridescent bubbles. We're going to add a few here and there. And then that completes my card. Pretty simple card, but the watercolor was super fun. I really like the, the watercolor pencils. Um, and if you're looking for a watercolor pencil set, this is a great set. And I'll leave it. Uh, link down below in case you're interested in that. But that's my card for today using the Stamp of the Month Club kit for April called Fresh Start. Um, super pretty and I'm so excited I get to share with you a project with the Stamp of the Month Club kit every month. I wish you a lovely day guys. Thanks for joining me. We will see you again real soon. Bye bye.